So are the colleges defined by a specific interest? Are they randomly assigned? Yeah, really good question. And it's something that MBA students will frequently ask as well, because once you are admitted onto the MBA, you do have the opportunity to apply to become a member of a particular college, um, which a lot of students enjoy the process of researching and deciding to do. There's very, very small differences between them. So I would say like students will sometimes choose based on very kind of practical reasons. So the colleges will vary in terms of the number of MBA students that they admit, for example. So some of our students will want to become part of a college where they know that there'll be a large number of MBA students. Other students want to be part of a college where they'll have the opportunity to really expand their network and will go somewhere where there's hardly any MBA students. Sports is a big driver in terms of selecting colleges. So all colleges will have sports teams, but some colleges will maybe have a better reputation than others for performing well in certain sports. Yeah, yeah. So there'll be aspects like that as well. A lot of students will look to alumni. So they'll look at maybe famous people who have, you know, come through different colleges over the years. And the university obviously has quite a, a, an exciting, extensive range of alumni that it can boast to have. So if you think of, of somewhere like Christchurch College, for example, that's where Lewis Carroll was a lecturer and is, is apparently where he came up with the storyline for Alice in Wonderland. Um, so, you know, there's all that history and tradition and all of the colleges will have their own unique stories that they can tell. And so students will be attracted to, to different aspects of that. But it's a really exciting part of, of the MBA journey at Oxford. So once you are admitted onto the programme, the next step then is, is researching the colleges and deciding which one you might want to apply to um, and then starting to look at how that can add to your MBA experience.